Okay, fish in my favorite bayou this morning. It's blowing about 20 mile an hour. And there's really nowhere else I can fish. So we'll see if we have any luck. Must be some fish back here with all these birds. There's a lot of bird life back here. Dredging started in February of 1916. Original cost $150,000 bond issue. The Lake Largo Cross Bayou Drainage District. The purpose was to alleviate flooding in the area. And as a result, Lake Largo was drained dry. Around 1940, the district was taken over by the county. The bonds have been paid off. Cross Bayou Waterway starts at the upper tip of the Cross Bayou in the upper reaches of the Boca Ciega Bay. It is 11 miles long and it runs northerly across the county ending near the shores of Old Tampa Bay. And not too far from the St. Petersburg Clearwater International Airport which it skirts on its way to the bay. During World War II, the canal was widened by the government at its Tampa Bay end to accommodate hydroplanes that might land there. Dredges opened up its width to 200 feet and deepened the water so seaplanes could come in. The canal which was originally about 20 feet wide and deep enough to carry a steady flow of water which rose and fell with the tides. There is an approximate two foot rise and fall of the tides in the canal. Today the water in the Bokisiega end of the canal is often higher sooner than the water at the Tampa Bay end. Though you would think that the water level at the Tampa Bay end should be pushed upward first by the tides. This is blamed on clogged channels that do not readily carry water through the canal. Okay, I'm heading in. Been out here for about three hours. And we caught two ladyfish. A lot of wind. Not enough water. But it gave me a chance to explore new spots. So, got a little exercise.